I'm here to share my solar system. My off grid solar system, and we are entirely off grid. And I will tour you through my off grid system. These are my solar panels. These are 765 watt out of solar panels. Each panel generates 255 watt. So in total it's 765 watt. These panels connect in series. For those who don't know the series connection, the amperage stays the same and the voltage goes up. So you connect um, the live to the grounds. That's the series connection. And I will show you inside my solar generator. Um, this is my solar generator. We have a, a Ransom Sunray 1500 watt pure sine wave inverter. We have uh, the kilowatt meter. And we have the 20 amp MPPT charge controller. Guys, this is just a temporary setup. It's just a temporary setup. This is um, switch I use to cut off the, the current from the solar to the system. Temporary setup, I already had a, um, a DC breaker for this for this switch. So I use the breaker to cut down the, the current from the sun to the charge control. This is my remote for the inverter. This is my Renogy Rover 20 amp MPPT charge controller. So right now my battery is fluctuating between 13.9 and 14 volt. We are pulling a 87.7 volt from the sun. And we are sitting at 20 amps from the panels. Our battery does 100%. And we're bringing um, 95 amp hour so far. So I install a small fan, small CPU fan over this. Then again guys, it's just a temporary setup to cool it down we have the, um, the Trojan battery Trojan 12 volt Trojan 225 amp hour this is a maintenance battery we we also have two more of these battery but it is a free maintenance one which is a seal battery I know a lot of you guys are going to say um, a 24 volt system is more efficient and so forth but guys we are in Jamaica things are hard to get out there and we are doing our best I already had a 24 volt inverter and we are also getting a 60 amp MPPT charge controller so we are going to upgrade from 12 volt to 24 volt in the future pretty soon so this is just a temporary setup and we are just using the system for a short period of time. We have pretty thick gauge. Pretty thick gauge wire go from the batteries to the inverter. We are not grounded because as I say guys, this is just a temporary setup. So we're not grounded. And where I live uh, we hardly have lightning strike. So I guess this is in, in ain't no trouble but I think each and every solar system should properly ground so again guys this is our battery as, as I say we have two more of this battery which is the sealed one and we are going to go 24 volt soon this is two 6 volt battery a 155 amp hour 6 volt battery seal it battery but we don't use this battery no longer because this battery is 17 years old we're entirely off grid this is our fridge we're running off grid 
I also have a 55 inch flat screen TV off grid I connect um, the, the modium to the battery just to save current uh, this is our radio everything is off grid at the moment so we entirely off grid we also have a um, uh, washing machine uh, Samsung washing machine which is I use with midday like 12 to 1 o'clock we wash at 12 to 1 o'clock so we have that in midday we ain't burn much and we ain't pull the battery down too far so these batteries these deep cycle batteries are designed to drain to 50% any less you will discharge it too much and you will damage the lifespan so you're not going to get much years out of it when you discharge them below 50% so it is more better to discharge it to 50% or less or more. So when you're discharging your battery, you discharge to 50% or 60%, but don't go below 50. Thank you guys, and I will see you in another video. Uh, we are entirely off grid. Proper wire coming down. We are entirely off grid. So I will see you guys in the next video when I upgrade my system from 12 to 24. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching.